on this earth. Lift up your eyes and see. They're all gathered together. They come to you. People are coming to you. It goes on and says, you know, don't hold your voice in Zion. Do not be silent. Cry out day and night. There's a people that are crying. I was reading, I've been reading a book by Ruth, Ruth Heflin. How God called her to Jerusalem, called her to pray for that city. And she said when she would pray in one place, God would do a miracle in another place. Wow. They shall come from afar, and your daughter shall be nursed at your side. Then you shall see them and become radiant, and your heart shall swell with joy because of the abundance of the sea shall return to you. Where is he? Why do you think God's setting everything up? He, right now in California, there's so many commercial buildings. I mean, my God, are you talking about 40% off? I said, God, I claim one of those buildings for my headquarters. Mm, the wealth of the Gentiles shall come to you. Look at them and say, the wealth of the Gentiles is coming to me. They shall bring gold and incense. They shall proclaim the praise of the Lord. All the flock, the flocks of Kedah shall be gathered together to you. Go on and on and on. The rams of Nebalot shall minister to you. They shall ascend with acceptance on my altar, and I will glorify the house of my glory. Wow. Also the sons of those who afflicted you. What did I say about that man? Well, that's an affliction. Mock me, stop at me. He afflicted me. They shall come bowing to you. Right. Now President Obama, he bowed down to the king of Saudi, because that's a sign that I'm a Muslim. And I, I was in the borders the other day, and the man said to me, we got talking. He said, uh, you know, I'm a Muslim. I said, yeah. He said, so is President Obama. I said, really? He said, oh, yeah. Don't you realize that when he traveled to the Middle East, his wife didn't go with him? Muslim leaders don't travel with their wives. And I said, this, you know, on. He said, don't you know when he did this? It was a sign. I said, okay, I need to do some praying. Because Kim Clement had a word that the next president is going to be touched and get saved in the White House. Amen. 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 So for his sake, let's believe that. Amen. Amen. They come bound to you. And all those who despise you shall fall prostrate at the sides of your feet. I'll restore back all the years. The tank worm, the palm worm, the locusts have stolen. Are you, are you getting it now? Amen. And they shall call you the city of God. Mm. Now it's talking about Jerusalem, talking about Zion, but it's also talking about the people of God. 